Well, there are, of course, still lots of questions about this latest COVID variant, although it is important to note the CDC says no cases of the Omicron variant have been reported here in the U.S., at least so far. So let's bring in Dr. Carl Lambert, family physician with Rush Medical Rush University Medical Center that's here in Chicago. So, Dr. Lambert, thank you for being with us. Tell us, what do we know about this latest variant? Yeah, pleasure being with you. So um, what we know is, is as of Friday, um, this Omicron variant, it's, it's a bit different from the ones that we've come to know, especially the, the Delta variant, for instance. Uh, the World Health Organization pretty much has described this this variant is one of concern. So not all variants reach that status. So what that essentially means is that this variant, uh, it has several mutations that are a cause for concern that can make it more infectious, uh, more virulent, which means that it may be able to spread more quickly and more rapidly in our communities. And in addition to that, it may have mutations on it that may render some of the vaccines that we're using not as effective as opposed to the previous variants that we've been dealing with in the U.S. All right, Dr. Lambert, you are a family physician. You just rattled off a list of concerns. Tell us what concerns you most about the new variant. Thank you for asking. So I think the biggest concern that I have is what I would hate to see is for us to start back at, at ground one or ground zero, rather. Um, what I would hate to see is having a variant that's so different from the previous viruses that we've come to know that uh, the vaccines that we have, that they're not as effective. So essentially what that would happen is, is that we would have a new variant that could perhaps surpass you know, the number of cases that we're seeing with other variants, and that could become the predominant type, and we would be right back at square one. And we'd have to figure out you know, how effective are the vaccines that we have, and if they're not as effective, we may have to talk about you know, creating a new vaccine that will cover this variant in particular. All right, so you just said that, you know, how effective are the vaccines? So of course, I think the next logical question there, are those that are vaccinated protected? And then what about, you know, a lot of people started getting the booster shots? Yeah, that's the million dollar question. So as it stands right now, as you had mentioned, there's no known cases of the Omicron variant. So far, the main variant that we're dealing with is the Delta variant, which we know uh, if you're up to date on your vaccines and especially your boosters, you do have a fair amount of protection. That's great. However, that doesn't mean that we can rest on our laurels. We have to stay vigilant. Uh, we have to keep pushing and making sure that everyone who's available or, or able or eligible to be vaccinated, that they should be as soon as possible. Because if we can reach herd immunity, that will prevent the development of further variants beyond this one. Well, you know, Dr. Lambert, you know, some people hear this and, you know, they're a bit skeptical. They say, oh, here's another new variant. But it, it really is normal to see variants. Can you just explain quickly how viruses actually work? Oh, absolutely. So it's really to be expected. Viruses are very crafty and clever. Essentially, they are they're organisms that really need cells to work. So it's kind of like computer viruses. They enter cells and they hijack the system. So essentially, the virus comes in and it takes over that cell's ability to make different sort of proteins. And the, the virus says, OK, you're going to make more of me now. So those cells really will replicate the virus over and over again. The cell gets overwhelmed, the cell tends to burst open, and then the virus goes to different cells, and that whole process starts over and over and over again. So along the way, that's happening millions of times, not perfectly, which is why you can have different sort of variants that may be dissimilar from the original virus. So some of those may have qualities that make it even more harmful to others, which is what we're seeing potentially with the Omicron variant. All right, last question for you. Of course, you know, we just finished Thanksgiving. Uh, Christmas is less than a month away. Anything different that we should be doing right now? You know, I'd say the mainstay would be really to continue masking, continue socially distancing, continuing to just keep your guards up. Uh, we really don't want to start all over again with this. And again, uh, if you're on the fence about considering a, a vaccine or if you're thinking that you're ready for the booster, talk to a trusted health care provider like your family doctor or your primary care doctor. We can help you to make that determination. But I'd say, please, please don't delay. All right, Dr. Lambert, thank you so much. We appreciate your expertise today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.